The defense rests in the case of the murder of Molly Tibbetts, but not before the defendant takes the stand. His testimony adding a bizarre twist in the case of the murder. University of Iowa student Fox News correspondent Matt Finn is live in Davenport, Iowa with the latest. Matt. Lawrence, well, it was quite a moment in court today. Some of the jurors sat forward in their seats when the man accused of Molly Tibbetts made the bold move of taking the stand in his own defense. 26-year-old illegal immigrant Christian Rivera's shocking testimony contradicts what he had previously told police regarding how 20-year-old Molly Tibbetts was brutally stabbed to death. Rivera claims on the night Tibbetts went missing, he took a shower at his house. Two masked men came through the front door, then instructed him into his car to drive them to Molly Tibbetts town where they circled her on her jog. Rivera claims that on that ride, one of the masked men called the other Jack, which is the last name of Molly Tibbetts' boyfriend. Rivera says he doesn't know how the two alleged men killed Tibbetts, but afterwards he instructed them to drive to a cornfield and the two men left on foot. Rivera claims he dumped Tibbetts' body, then later realized his cell phone and keys in Molly Tibbetts' Fitbit were in his trunk. He dumped her cell phone and Fitbit on the side of the road and claims he kept it all a secret because he claims those masked men threatened to harm his daughter and her mother, his ex-girlfriend. Do you remember being asked in the interview by uh, Ms. Romero if you were covering for anyone? Yes. And you told her that you were not. Is that correct? Correct. Correct. At that moment, I was really scared. I understand that you may have been scared, but you chose not to tell them, correct? Correct. Correct. Rivera is charged with first-degree murder. He has pleaded not guilty. This case is expected to go to the jury tomorrow, so we could be on verdict watch at some point tomorrow, Lawrence. Thank you, Matt. Got to be really demented to confess to a murder and then make up this nonsense in court of law.